Okay, how to turn your Elgato Stream Deck into a KHE audio amp switcher remote control in super fast amount of time, because I don't know how long it's actually going to take me to do this. But here we go. Open up your Stream Deck software, go into more actions, type in MIDI, install this one that looks like the keyboard. I tried this one, didn't work too well. Great, now that that is done, you'll expand MIDI. Control changes is what we want. So you'll go one, two, three, four. Those are gonna be my cabs. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because those are my amps. Now, if you read in the manual, it says that your first amp actually starts at zero, so everything is offset by one. So this will be amp one, amp two, which means this will be number one. Oh, and I have to go here. You also need a USB device. So I'm using the USB Uno for this, but I tried it with my, even going out of the output of my AxeFX, it's fine. As long as you have a USB something that converts the signal to a U, uh, MIDI cable, because that's what the KHE needs to see. One, two, this is gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then cabs start on eight. Boom, so now this should be working. Let's see if it does. You can kind of see the, where's it, KHE in the background. So if I go cabinet one, yep. So that works. Cabinet one, turn off number two. And then amp one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool, so it all works now, right? So you pretty much, you could stop there, but we're gonna try to customize it a little bit. So you go down here, Create new icon to make some custom icons. It brings you to this website. Hit on this text thing. Click to edit. Delete this. Type in amp one or whatever you want to say, right? Like uh, Marshall, whatever. And then you can like resize it and move it, whatever. You can also add pictures in there, which I think I'm going to do to make it look super custom. But for now, I'm just doing amp one, amp two. But if you want to do the Marshall, you would just hit save key and it downloads it to your downloads folder. And then we go back into this. And then now we say set from file, which I have all mine saved to this thing already. So I'm gonna go cab one, enter, and then go back, click on this set from file. Cabinet two, enter, set from file. Cabinet three, enter, boom. Cabinet four, enter, amp one. Enter, two.
enter. Great. Now we're all set. Hopefully this thing will zoom in on this and not my face. Yeah, amps one through eight. There we go, and then same thing. You can see that it's working. And then amp one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching. See you later.